Think of a castle. Does your mind picture towering stone walls, moats, and knights? Well, prepare to challenge that image. We're about to unravel the tale of the magnificent Montezuma Castle in Arizona. This castle, unlike any conventional one, sits high on a cliff face, a silent tribute to an ancient civilization. But here's a twist in the tale. The castle's name is a misnomer. Although named after the Aztec Emperor Montezuma, who ruled centuries later, this architectural marvel was actually the handiwork of the Sanagua people around 1100 AD. Imagine the sheer brilliance of carving a five-story, 20-room dwelling into a cliff face. That's an 80-feet high, cliffside apartment complex overlooking the breathtaking Verde Valley. Talk about a room with a view. But why has this structure survived when so many other historical sites have crumbled? The credit goes to the dry desert climate, which has been a natural preserver. With scarce rainfall, the threats of erosion or devastating floods are virtually non-existent. This cliff dwelling is essentially a time capsule, a 4,000 square feet testament to the past, eagerly waiting to share its story. Yet, Montezuma Castle was more than a residential complex. It's believed to have been a community hub for the Sanagua people. Think of it as their town center, a place for meetings, storing food and tools, and possibly even for ceremonial activities. Some rooms might even offer insights into their burial practices. The Sanagua weren't just cliff dwellers, they were master builders. Their tools, mud mortar, and local limestone for the walls, with sturdy beams of sycamore, alder, or ash for the roofs. All this, mind you, done with stone axes. Now that's resourcefulness. And the small T-shaped doorways, they were more than just a design quirk. The low height retained warmth during chilly desert nights, while the unique shape shielded the interiors from the harsh midday sun. Quite the off-grid survival strategy. So Montezuma Castle, a castle unlike any you've probably imagined, stands as a testament to the Sanagua's ingenuity and resourcefulness. This castle, remarkably preserved by the dry desert climate, holds more than just rooms and walls. The arid conditions of the desert have been a blessing in disguise, keeping the castle intact while many historical sites crumble under the weight of time. Erosion? Not a chance. Floods? The cliff provides a natural barrier. Over 4,000 square feet of space, a veritable time capsule, waiting to spill its secrets. It wasn't just a cozy cliffside condo complex. Archaeologists believe it was a central hub for the Sanagua community, a place where people met stored their food and tools, and perhaps even practiced their rituals. What's more, some rooms might even hold clues about Sanagua burial practices. This castle isn't just a historical monument, it's a key to understanding an entire civilization. And let's not forget the construction. The Sanagua people were master builders, resourceful in ways we can only admire today. They knew their environment well, and used what they had at hand. They sculpted the walls from local limestone, using mud as a mortar. The roof? Hefty beams of sycamore, alder, or ash held it up. And all this, mind you, was done using stone axes to fell the trees. Their resourcefulness is a testament to human ingenuity when faced with the bare necessities. But the Sanagua people weren't just resourceful, they were clever too. Take a look at the doorways. Small and T-shaped. Odd? Not really. These were designed to keep the heat in during the chilly desert nights and block the scorching sun during the day. A clever design for survival off the grid. Montezuma Castle isn't just a building, it's a window into the past. A glimpse into the resourceful and resilient world of the Sanagua people. The layout, construction techniques, and artifacts found inside can tell us volumes about their social structure, tools, and how they adapted to the desert environment. Each stone, each room, each tool is a page in the grand history of the Sanagua people. Montezuma Castle, an age-old monument, continues to be a beacon of historical and biological significance. This colossal cliff dwelling didn't just catch the attention of passers-by and archaeologists, but also of President Theodore Roosevelt. Recognizing its cultural importance, he declared it a national monument in 1906, ensuring its preservation for posterity. Today we can all marvel at this engineering marvel from the Sanagua era, protected and preserved for future generations to study, admire, and learn. But the legacy of Montezuma Castle isn't confined to its stone walls. While the Sanagua people may have moved on, life continues to thrive in and around this historic landmark. 
The castle has become a haven for wildlife, providing a vital habitat for endangered species like the Townsend's big-eared bats. These elusive creatures find shelter in the upper rooms of the castle, away from predators and the harsh desert elements. Hummingbirds, too, add a splash of color to the landscape, flitting around the desert flowers, bringing life and vibrancy to this ancient site. Yet despite the centuries that have passed, Montezuma Castle continues to yield new insights about the Sanagua people. Ongoing archaeological research and excavations are gradually unveiling more about their way of life, their social structures, and how they adapted to the harsh desert environment. Every artifact, every piece of pottery, every grain of pollen found in the castle is a piece of a jigsaw puzzle that helps us understand this fascinating culture better. In its silent majesty, Montezuma Castle continues to unravel mysteries while serving as a reminder of a civilization that once thrived against all odds. As we explore and learn more about this ancient dwelling, we are reminded of the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit and the timeless allure of our shared history.